Hello everyone, welcome to APGNation.com and to my review of Battlefield Hardline. A series well known for entirely military themed stories and gameplay has now changed gears in the spin-off and gone for an entirely modern cop drama story with different gameplay opportunities and of course high speed car chases. So let's start off with single player. You play as Nick Mendoza, a police detective who alongside his partner Kai are cracking down on drug fueled violence, distribution and corruption within Miami. Along the way you meet some interesting characters, experience corruption within your own police department, sneak through and explore large open environments that range from the Everglades to Los Angeles, and of course, blow stuff up. So as you can expect, this is not the most original crime story out there. In fact, it has been told in many films and even other police themed video games with plot twists that you can see coming a mile away. However, the characters and the voice acting are top notch with enough personality to make them relatable and likeable. It's just a shame that the story is the same old cop drama we've all seen before. I do however enjoy the humour between the characters in the game. You may think it's corny, but it just livens up an already cliché story. Here, got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in here too? Well I could write bomb across it if you want. Come on, let's get this over with. The visuals of Battlefield Hardline can be a bit hit and miss. In certain levels, the visuals look great, usually because of the amazing weather effects, such as a hurricane. But overall, the game just doesn't look up to par with recent titles. It does keep a steady 60 frames per second during gameplay, but every time there's a transition from gameplay to cutscene, the frame rate and overall quality drops significantly, and it's very noticeable. Fortunately, the sound design is superb, and a continued highlight of the series, most notably for its excellent gun sound samples that echo in the distance to create an unsettling battle ambiance. Moving on to gameplay, Hardline very much keeps to its battlefield roots, with a variety of weapons and equipment, destructible environments, and action packed sequences. But for the first time in the series, there is now a heavy emphasis on large open environments that give the player the freedom to either go in guns blazing or to take out enemies using stealth. Far Cry 3 and 4 are obvious inspirations for Hardline's new stealth focused gameplay, and even contain similar elements such as being able to toss gun shell casings to distract enemies, able to tag enemies from afar, and even disable alarm systems. The way stealth works is that every enemy has a cone of sight that is displayed on your minimap, and as long as you stay out of their sight and not make too much noise, then you can sneak around with ease. You can also whip out your badge and freeze up to three enemies at once so you can make an arrest making sure to keep your weapon focused on every suspect so they don't reach for their weapons. This is great and so very useful but unfortunately I thought the mechanic wasn't fully realised and things about it bother me. In real life not all criminals react in the same way, so the fact that every enemy in the game can be very simply arrested with no hassle is extremely unrealistic. Also if a large number of criminals were just lying around the environment and you just left them there then all they would have to do is stand up since only their hands are cuffed and get help, or in fact even call for help. In spite of these cons, I do appreciate the freedom the game offers you, because you can always just go in guns blazing, but I do enjoy scoping out the environment and slowly taking down enemies. Also everything you do gives you experience towards Nick which unlocks new weapons, equipment and attachments. The game in many ways does still feel like Battlefield with its explosive action sequences, but honestly I was yearning for more police procedure gameplay and environments. Like at the start of the game you are exploring residential areas that are filled with all sorts of interesting characters and situations which are humorous, intimidating and interesting. At one point you even get to explore the Everglades on a hoverboat, but for the rest of the game you just get thrown into mostly cliche environments and situations we've all seen in previous Battlefield games. The other issues I have with single player is that not only are the cutscenes poor quality, but overall the visuals can look dated in places, and there are glitches that happen quite often and the enemy AI is not the smartest. I think also the sight cone of enemies is too thin as most of the time you can just slip by enemies even though they themselves can actually see you, and it doesn't matter because you are not in their cone of sight. And overall it is just repetitive, most of the missions just give you the freedom to tackle them how you want, but it doesn't give you anything new or interesting to do as you progress through the game. It's just rinse and repeat, and you aren't even a cop later in the game but you can still freeze people. 
that makes sense. But let's move on to the multiplayer, the biggest highlight of the game in my opinion. Online multiplayer has taken on the cops and robbers theme with fantastically fun results with huge 64, 32 or 10 player matches, a new cash progression system and interesting new modes that kept me coming back. There are 5 game modes dedicated to the cops and robbers theme along with fan favourite modes, conquest and team deathmatch, which are the only modes that support 64 players which equal to the most chaos. It is so much fun, the most fun I've had in a battlefield in a long while, and there's something for everyone and thankfully so far the online services seem stable and well maintained. In the end, Battlefield Hardline is more of the same, with a different theme and ideas that we've all seen and played before. Even though you can still have great fun with this game, I still recommend that you pick it up on sale. Don't expect anything new or exciting with Battlefield Hardline, but you can still have a blast of a time, especially if you manage to pick it up cheap. For everything else gaming news and reviews, stay tuned to APGNation.com. I got him!